throughout all of this to be to relay the questions that you guys have. I want this to be like a total fan experience. I don't want it to just be like you guys watching me have a conversation with them. Um, so yeah, so make sure to send in lots of questions. Um, try not to spam too much so that we can see all the questions from everybody else. But yeah, again, my name is Shannon. Nice to meet you guys. Also, let me know before, while we wait for them to come, let me know what time it is, where you are and where you're located. That's what I wanna know. Because I know it's gonna be, I know it's pretty late for you guys. For me, I'm in Toronto, Canada, because this is iHeartRadio Canada. And um, it is just about 7.30, so. 5.30, wait, 5.30 a.m. or p.m.? 12.30, 1.30 a.m. in Switzerland. You are a champ. 1.30 a.m., 1.30 in Austria. Wow. There's a lot of people that are here late. That's crazy. L.A., okay, so the people on the West Coast, you guys are just chilling. It's like dinner time over there or even before dinner time. Amazing, okay, let's check if the, um, if the five seconds of summer is gonna join the live. I like to keep an eye on them. I might be looking over here, but that's just so I can make sure everything's running properly. 6.30 p.m. in Mexico, 8.30 for you. See, isn't it crazy that we can just all come together like this? If I think about it too much, it freaks me out that we're like all just living different lives. The guys are coming. They are on their way. It is 7.30 right now, so they're going to be popping in. Who's my favorite member? Don't make me choose just one, especially right before we talk to them. They're all so great. Um, they are all very amazing and unique and have great qualities in their own way. I've been a fan of Five Seconds of Summer for years now. Maybe not as long as a lot of you, but I, I love them. Um, okay, somebody just asked what's your favorite Five Sauce song. Guys, not even, I'm not even saying this because this is the new song, but Complete Mess, I have had on repeat all day, like since it came out and the video for it is so good. It is just such a jam. I immediately added it to like my everyday playlist because I just feel like for this time of year too, something about it, I'm like, oh, it's like a, a fresh start. Um, but what do you guys think? What's your favorite Five Sauce song? It's so good, right? Like literal immediate banger. Um, yeah, it's so good. Oh, I don't know if I could pick an album either. I really did like Calm when it came out. Yeah, that's tough, that's tough. Okay, um, all right, let's see, let's see. I wanna keep an eye on the, oh wait, let's see, add a host. Oh yeah, and then it shows friends. Um, again, if you're just joining, my name is Shannon, and I, I am with I Heart Radio Canada, and we're gonna talk to Five Sauce all together. This is gonna be a magical experience between all of us. Um, that's a Luke's eyeshadow. Amazing. It's so great. Anybody that breaks like gender barriers is like good in my books. Um, yeah, let me know your favorite song. It's a hard question, right? I'm telling you. It's a tough one. Okay, let's, let me find out where the guys are. Let's see. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to see all the questions that are gonna be coming through. Ghost of you, great. Beside you, yeah, lie to me. Um, okay, sweet, they are on their way, uh, building the anticipation. Um, one second. Okay, sweet. Oh, you guys don't have to send roses. That's so nice. I haven't done anything yet, so I definitely don't deserve that. Callum's favorite is Heartbreak Girl. <laughs> That's so funny. I type so fast. I know. Actually, do you guys want to see? Actually, I don't know if I can lift my keyboard, but you want to see something really embarrassing? While we wait and get to know each other, I might as well like tell you embarrassing things about me. Um, not only do I type really fast, but I type really aggressively. Look at my keyboard. It is literally... The keys are worn out, which I went to the Apple store one time and the guy that works there was like, I've never seen somebody wear out their keyboard so fast. So I think I'm just an aggr aggressive, um, aggressive type of person. Um, but yeah, guys, tell me your favorite Five Sauce album. Tell me your favorite Five Sauce song. That's what I want to know before we talk to them. Um, but I am really excited. I actually had the chance to sit down with them one time and I got to interview them back when we did interviews in person a few years ago before the pandemic. 
Uh, and it was great. And you guys can check that out actually if you want to watch that afterwards on iHeartRadio Canada's YouTube channel. But I'm also going to be sitting down on Zoom with Five Sauce after this. So we're going to have an interview with them on iHeartRadio Canada's YouTube channel. And we're also going to be like playing a game with them, I think, and things like that. So there's going to be more content coming from us and them at, right after this live. So. Uh, if you guys, yeah, if you guys want to subscribe, iHeartRadio Canada, make sure that that's the one that you look up because there's iHeartRadio US and Canada and sometimes people get confused, you know. Um, but we just want to give you guys all the content. Honestly, I, I want to bring this up with the guys in the live, but like something about Five Sauce's fans, you guys are like something else. And I mean that in like the best way possible. You guys are the nicest, sweetest fans. Oh, they're live. Okay, here we go. Let's see. It says waiting for co-host. I send them an invite, so they should be joining any second. Let us see. They might have to send me one too, I'm not sure. Unable to connect to the host at this time. Hmm. I wonder if they will have to. If they will have to invite me to make it easier. They like to, we just like to add anticipation. Make them wait. <laughs> Saucy boys are you here. <laughs> They're very and don't know how to work TikTok. <laughs> Hold on. It's nice to have the team on standby so that we can communicate. All right, let me invite them again. They didn't accept my invite they have 20 seconds to accept talking about the new batman oh my goodness have you seen it yet well we were just reviewing see we auditioned um oh yeah and uh yeah they didn't give us the part but we said we had a new uh, single coming out so we couldn't do it right now right. Um, right yeah so you rejected them right they didn't reject pretty much yeah. yeah exactly but yeah you know, do you think you can do the batman voice <laughs> wait, wait, his, wait, his, his mouth is, his mouth is always poking through his mouth he's like hey he's like where's the keys to the city <laughs> hey that was pretty good i'm impressed you're a little you're a little aggro it's a little aggressive but i heard robert's one is quite scary so is robert doing a deep voice it's too he Ed, does like... a deep voice, but it's like not cringy like you think that it might be. I had the chance to actually watch the movie already, so I can give you. Oh a wow! Play -play. Nice. Uh, All right, can okay. you can you give us something without a spoiler? Place, okay. Um. Oh, Dr. I don't Spanger. know. What, um. What's something? Well, okay. His voice is really accurate. I I think you're gonna you're gonna really like it. I can tell you that much. It's really good. It's um good. and the I'll chemistry with him and Zoe Kravitz <laughs> seems a little too real. What did you, wait, what did you say? Oh, okay. Ooh. I see. You're saying it's an on-screen romance for the ages? I am something like that. Yeah, absolutely. You've got to sum it up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how many on-screen <laughs> romances for the ages is he going to have? It's incredible. Oh, I don't True. Know. Um, how's, how's Seth Rogen as the Riddler? <laughs> That's how Seth Rogen has the Riddler. <laughs> no. I like this one. It should be, though. I think he would make <laughs> a good TikTok Riddler. How, why, do these, why do the filters randomly start happening? What app is this? <laughs> that's your fan sending you what? like sunglasses and hats and things like that um also hi guys how's it going so good to sorry. see you we're i'm so, shannon we're really hyper on uh live streams sorry about that no that's but, okay uh, that's the energy that we want it's very nice to meet you shannon i'm ash hey i'm luke hi hey, i'm seth <laughs> i'm cal and I'm we're Mike, actually and yes. we're five seconds of summer yeah guys there you go really <clears throat> Whoa, um, how are you guys doing? What time chat. is it where you are right now? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what time is it where you guys are? Where are you? Uh, I think it's four. We're in LA. What is it? Four thirty. Oh, okay. so, it's oh so it's earlier um, there. Yeah, we're 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 feeling really good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you got that. Dude, that's hard. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very good. Um, definitely great now that I'm talking to you guys, and your fans are crazy. They're going nuts for you guys, which is so fun to see. Um, I, I was just talking to them before we did the live, and I was saying that that Five Sauce, you guys have a fandom like no other. They are just like polite. They're nice. They're so supportive. Um, they're just so great. What do you think it is? Like, why do you guys think that you have such a dedicated fan base? 
think maybe it's our extremely great live streams we're known for. Yeah, I think our professionalism. <laughs> professionalism. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know exactly what it is. I think Callum can lift 500 kilos with his legs. <laughs> and that's why. <laughs> yeah, check this out. <laughs> This list is amazing. Actually, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, this is this is a shambles. (laughs) Sorry, no, that's okay. Um, I think you know, like a lot of our fans have grown up with us. You know, we're twenty five now, but of the band when I was fifteen. Um, so I think what made people gravitate towards the band is just that we were pretty authentic. Um, and the songs have just kind of continued to be better and we've tried to create a culture around the band in which it is very fan motivated. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Kevin. Oh, that's, that's actually really great. I don't know how you're doing, giving such a great answer with such um, high distraction so, going on yeah. right now. Maybe so, that's uh, why people are fans of you. That's why. Keep <laughs> pressure. That's why yeah. I'm going to sing to you guys amnesia. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it sounds like you're about to, like, break into song. Joy all the places you used to hang out. I can't back down now. Thought about our last kiss, how we feel, the way you tasted. You know. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, it's my turn for the iPad. So we're gonna yeah. run oh, is it an iPad that you guys are doing the live off of? Yeah, we got hella games on here. Were you judges if we say it's an iPad? I feel like... No, absolutely not. I will only support you more if you say it's an iPad. That's... Do you have an iPad? As long as you're not one of those people that, like, take out the iPad and, like, start taking photos. No, um, that's literally what I'm I'm about to do. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) Then I'm judging you. (laughs) So I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. I want to go... I want to... I think we should talk about Complete Mess. What do you guys think? Sorry? I said, I think we should talk about Complete Mess. Congrats on the song. Thank, Thank you, very, you. Thank you very much. This is Michael. He produced Complete Mess. Hello. He's- Congratulations. <laughs> you did a fantastic job, Michael. Complete. Sorry? I said, you did a fantastic job at producing. Oh, Thank you. It was actually, I mean, in seriousness, it was like a really amazing process to record <clears throat> this new song. And, you know, we went out to joshua tree and we started writing just the four of us um and it was just fun you know we were just experimenting and we were playing around and like a lot of the stuff that you hear in the song is just like first take train of thought like you know the guitar stuff in the verses like the little whaley guys that's uh that's luke on a guitar saying hey what if this what if we do this and uh it's my cool hat um and yeah you know we we really wanted to like keep the essence of kind of the spirit we had in that room yeah great answer great answer there we go. yeah that is a great answer you guys right said now. that this is a a quick song for you guys to create as well right like it didn't take very long yeah no. it took um geez how long from start to that first demo maybe i want to say two hours maybe, yeah if, if that. that like yeah. one of one of our quickest songs um but we it's not didn't lack quality for how quick it came together um, which I think is an important thing to note. Um, yeah, it, was, it came out, like Michael was saying, like all the main musical elements and the like main lyrics and melodies came out in the first, I mean, in the first hour, really. So it was all trying to capture lightning in a bottle, as some people say. Yeah, definitely. What was the very first creation process like? Like, where was the first idea? How did that spark? Oh, so- now I have a hat. Hey, hey, cool hat. Um, Thank you. Oh, hey, cool sunglasses. Like, well, <laughs> oh, shit. Um, so, yeah, we're out at this awesome studio. And we walked in, and like all great creative processes, there is a bit of resistance. And none of the stuff was working, and, you know, we're having some struggle with it. Um, but we all relaxed into this process, and uh, we were really ready to create anything. So um, I think why the band is so proud of this song is because uh, of how naturally it came about. And um, and how much we enjoyed uh, creating something just kind of that flowed out of us naturally as a band. Yeah, I've talked to artists, too, and they've said that 
the best songs are the ones that <laughs> I love it. Um, I've talked to artists that say that the best songs are the ones that come really quick. Are you a believer in that? Or do you think that you can also create a really good song that takes a long period of time? Um, the best ones are the ones that come really quick. I don't know. I think when you're writing songs, the best ones are the ones that come at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great answer. Because um, sometimes, you know, you might not, songs don't come about in a way where you can repeat the exact same process every time. You have to be pretty intuitive to what um, is good. And you train your ear, you know, right. to hear good hook or good, good words or whatever. Yeah. yeah. No, that's good. I like that answer. That's sweet. We have a question from a fan that says, Michael, will you ever dye your hair a colorful color again? Um, I actually decide what colors Michael decide, uh, decides to um, dye his hair, and he yeah. will not be doing anything. <laughs> Just burp it. None face. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't burp. <laughs> yeah, undecided as of right now. Right now, I have a beanie on, so we'll see. Yeah, a beanie hair. That's great. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Um, Can fans expect new Perfect. songs on the upcoming tour? Yeah, we're going to play about, um, well, as many as we can remember, um, for real. I think after this album's released, we got over 200 songs released, which is pretty crazy. So we have to choose what songs to play and try, please, everybody from who's been there from the first EP to the fifth album. Uh, so that's a lot of music to cover. Yeah, that's crazy. Do you, do you know approximately how many songs that were created that were potentials for the new album? I mean, I think I, I always like to say around 100. Yeah. Because um, it was something like that, you know. Um, and we all individually this time, everybody kind of got into production and stuff. So during the pandemic, everybody was at home trying to write for Five Star Sora themselves or whatever. But um, there's probably you know, yeah, three figures for sure. Yeah. Mm. yeah. How do you even go about narrowing that down then? Are you, is it that you're like looking for a specific sound that'll fit with the vibe of the new era or how does it work? What was interesting is that when we, when we went out and we were writing together, we were writing about like maybe four or five songs every day. What is this that keeps coming out? Oh. Um, yeah, we were writing like four or five songs a day. Um, and we were able to just like kind of, us together after spending two or three hours on something we were able to be like is this worth you know putting a bunch of time into or you know should we just write something else and like continue creating um i like to pick the songs for the album it's important to pick all the best ones yeah. you heard it yeah that's a good that's, answer yeah why pick the bad ones yeah, yeah. i mean that revolutionary kind of counterintuitive yeah, yeah it's exactly. real cool guy lane going on you got your ipad cool guy lane <laughs> yo <laughs> That's a good angle, though. I like it. You got the good lighting, too, there, so. I know. That's why I'm standing this way, because I look bad in yeah. bad lighting. It's good. Um, speaking of narrowing things down, have you narrowed down a name for the album yet? Um, I think we're going to name it right here on the air. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. Is this on the air? Is this... <laughs> I guess live is on the air. Live. Right? Is this the new on, on air? I, I guess so, it what do you think it should be called? Um, that's a really good question. Uh, maybe like chaotic, because that seems to be like the vibe. Because that's our energy today. <laughs> I love yeah. that. But like in the best way possible. Yeah, no, I absolutely love that. We'll take that into account. Perfect. Chaotic energy. Thank you. Only I, as long as it's considered. It doesn't have to be the actual name, but just no, to know that it's up the, there. No, we'll go in the pot. Yeah, okay. Usually... Maybe like put names in a hat and then just pick one. Yeah. Fan yep, submitted exactly. names. Yeah. <laughs> Someone said name it calm. Calm two. Calm two. All right. I kind of like that. There you go. Very creative. Uh, okay. Let's see. Gracie is asking if you could have one lyric from the new song tattooed on you, what would it be? Yeah. Let's get Callum to answer a question. Uh, one lyric? Look at this yeah. distinguished gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I was to get one lyric tattooed on my body, I would have to. Uh, of any of our catalog? Yeah, sure. Uh, I, just... <laughs> uh, I would probably do something off the first album. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> you need to go butter. <laughs> no, I like yeah, the flip. angles. It was and good. And then flip camera. They go, oh, I clicked it as well. Bunch of iPad kids. Sorry. <laughs> Just the iPad babies. Um, probably something off the first album. We have a song yeah. called Never Be. Mm-hmm. Something off that, maybe. Nice. That's a good answer. I like your hat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? You're welcome. People keep doing that. I think they can like send you a reward. Actually, I think that that actually translates into money. So if you guys check your TikTok wallet oh. after this, you're gonna have some cash in there. You can buy a few coffees or something. How how do you deny them? <laughs> how do I deny money? I don't want that. I don't I know if there that. is a way, actually. That's a good question. It might just right, live in stop, the account. Stop doing um, that. Someone no, asked, I-, I don't know which member it was, but who was the member that claimed back in the day that tadpoles are actually baby turtles? Oh, oh I don't know if that was... <laughs> that was in this band. <laughs> I think you think it of something. Was that Callum? Oh, if that was... Maybe that's um, like Mario's Trench or something. I'm pretty sure that was <laughs> Um, and then it says, it's been eight years since you made this claim. Now in 2022, do you know what tadpoles really are? Yeah. Oh, was it Ashton? It was that. It... <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Justin Bieber. <laughs> oh, no, it was Justin Bieber. It could have been Chad. Mr. Yeah. Right, I need to go by first names with Chad. Chad? Do you, have you guys <laughs> ever met <laughs> Chad Kroger? You oh, yeah, big time. Yeah? Me and some weed once <laughs> when riding when we were riding i haven't told this story to anyone one time we were riding with chad kroger and he was like do you, do you smoke weed i was like fuck yeah i smoke weed i didn't smoke weed and he was like all right i got some on the way i go sweet chad let's do this so we go outside and we smoke some weed and then <laughs> then we come back then we come back no it's a weed's legal in toronto right yeah. So we go back into the studio and he goes, oh, what do you think of this idea, Calm? And I'll, I'm up with the fairies. There's no chance of me coming down. And I think I stared at him for probably like seven minutes until he realized, you know, this guy is, is not with us. And I had to leave the, the session early. Um, really? Everyone drop your, drop your Chad Kroger stories in the comments. <laughs> down here. Everybody's got a Chad Kroger story like that too, right? <laughs> We got another Chad Kroger story over here. Yeah, we have another Chad Kroger story over here. You can't just yell your Chad Kroger story across the room. So That's what the whole live turns into is just Chad Kroger stories. Do you want that? Yeah, I think that's I think that's great content. I think everyone would like that. So, um, so what's going on where you are, and how can we get involved? Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> like, what's going on in Toronto? <laughs> Oh, we're just chilling over here. Um, we're still in winter, though, over here. So I don't know if you want to come now. You guys are lucky you're coming in the summer when it's not covered in snow. Well, well obviously, because of the band name, we don't go anywhere that's winter. Yes, right. I read that in your in the email. They said they said exactly that. <laughs> yeah. Um, should we answer some questions? Yeah, um, we have been throughout. You guys have been doing really good. And we're about out of time. So are we going to oh. see Callum in more skirts is a question that we keep getting. Well, I could actually clear this up. Being Callum's bestie, he has some amazing Scottish heritage. And it's actually a kilt. Um, oh, okay. Uh, information. And uh, yeah, throwing it out there. It, it is not a skirt. Uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, someone asked if um, we'll be able to get our hands on five sauce ourselves. Is that going to be a product that you will all sell? Some five sauce. Some five sauce? Oh my god! Yeah. I hope, so. I hope so. You know, we're working on that. I actually, you know, it's kind of we've been working on this music stuff, but right after the music's done, sauce is in production. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? A lot of artists and um, other people in the industry, they've been selling a lot of like tequila and alcohol brands, but I think like the sauce is an untapped market. Yeah, I think so too. And, uh, yeah. you know, we got the perfect branding for it. So, but yeah. I'm a little confused. And after this live, I want everyone to send uh, at Five Sauce on Twitter what kind of sauce it would be uh, because we do need to get moving on this. Yeah. 
exactly. <laughs> right after the tour. Amazing. Okay, we do have to wrap it up because I'm actually jumping okay. on a Zoom with you guys next and we're going to do a full Q&A, all that stuff. Um, okay. So this was just an intro. This was just the beginning. But thank you, everybody who joined. You guys are so great. Thank you, everybody. Um, yeah. And it was lovely talking to you. Sorry about our chaotic energy, but that's... Oh, no. Know. Honestly, better than I could have ever imagined. I appreciate you guys so much. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Peace. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye.